In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how I made a low-poly character animation in Blender and imported it into Unity. The first part of the tutorial series involved modeling the low-poly character and rigging it. The second part of the tutorial series will be the animation and importing it into Unity. This tutorial was requested by Canny. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. The first thing I need to do in pose mode is clear any movement and rotation. I can easily do this by selecting the rig and using Alt G and Alt R. I also rename the character to Character Mesh and the armature to Character. In object mode, I select the character and the armature and rotate it so it is facing forward along the y-axis. And apply the transforms. This will help when I export it to Unity. I'll start with the idle animation. I open the animation workspace Open the Action Editor and the NLA Editor. I select the rig and go into Pose Mode. I make a new action named Idle and make a fake user by clicking on the shield icon. This helps to prevent any accidental deleting of the animation. I will begin the pose on Frame 1 by selecting the root bone and bending his knees. I then select each arm and rotate them so they are down by his sides and slightly bent at the elbows. I select each of the pole bones and move them so the knees are pointed outwards. I also use the target bones and move the feet so he has a broader stance. and move the left foot forward. I select the top of the spine and rotate the character backwards. I also select the head and rotate the head forward. I then select all the bones and add keyframes for location and rotation. On frame 30, I select the root bone and have the character stand up a bit straighter. I also raise the shoulders. and rotate the arms back in toward the torso. I then select all the bones and add keyframes for location or rotation. I copy the keyframes from frame 1 onto frame 60 to complete the idle animation. I change the end frame to 59 
otherwise the loop will have a repeated frame on frame 60 and frame 1. In the NLA editor, I push down the animation to make a track. The next animation I'll make is a simple walk cycle. I make a new action, name it walk, and assign a fake user. On frame 1, I use Alt-G and Alt-R to remove any movement or rotation data. I select the root bone and slightly bend the knees. I select the right foot and move and rotate it forward into the starting position. I move the left foot back into the starting position, making sure to bend the knee. I then move the right arm so it is slightly behind the body, since the right leg is forward. I also move the left arm so it is slightly in front of the body, since the left leg is back. I select all the bones and insert a keyframe for location and rotation. I then copy those keyframes onto frame 32. On frame 16, I use Control shift v to copy the keyframes to the opposite side of the character. On frame 8, I choose the right foot bone and use Alt-R to flatten the foot. I select the left target bone and move it so the left foot is pointed downward and the knee is bent. I move the right arm back and the left arm forward to show a bit of lag. I then select all of the bones and add the keyframes. On frame 24, I choose the left foot bone and use Alt-R to flatten the foot. I select the right target bone and move it so the right foot is pointed downward and the knee is bent.
I move the left arm back and the right arm forward to show a bit of lag. I then select all of the bones and add the keyframes. On frame 4, I select the right target bone, use Alt-R to flatten the foot, and add keyframes. On frame 20, I select the left target bone, use Alt-R to flatten the foot, and add keyframes. On frame 32, I select the right target bone, use Alt-R to flatten the foot, and add keyframes. In order to avoid any easing on the keyframes, I select all the keyframes, and use the T key to open the keyframe interpolation menu. I then choose linear for the interpolation type. This means there'll be no easing or slowing in or out on the keyframes. I change the end frame to 31. On the NLA editor, I push down the action to make sure it becomes an NLA strip. I'm now ready to export the character and animations as an FBX file to import into Unity. I select the armature and go to File, Export as FBX. In the Export window, I change the Apply Scalings to FBX Unit Scale. Under the Bake Animation section, I make sure the NLA Strips is checked. In Unity, I make a new folder for the character animation. I drag and drop my palette and my FBX into the folder. If I open the animation tab, I can now see all of the animations that I brought into Unity from Blender. I can select each of the animations and preview them in the inspector. I can now drag the FBX into the hierarchy. The character is actually facing the wrong way. To fix this problem, I select the FBX file in the Assets folder and open the Model tab in the Inspector. I check Bake Axis Conversion and click on Apply. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.